Five Democratic candidates for president faced off tonight in Las Vegas for their party's first debate. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton seemed to take the most heat, and at one point, Senator Bernie Sanders even came to her rescue. After opening remarks by the five Democratic candidates, host Anderson Cooper fired the first question at frontrunner Hillary Clinton while bringing up her change of heart about same-sex marriage and the president's immigration policies. Will you say anything to get elected? Well, actually, I have been very consistent over the course of my entire life. I have always fought for the same values and principles, but like most human beings, including those of us who run for office, I do absorb new information. When challenged on the hot topic of gun control, Bernie Sanders made it clear he supports instant background checks. However... Also, I believe, and I fought for, to understand that there are thousands of people in this country today who are suicidal, who are homicidal, but can't get the health care that they need, the mental health care, because they don't have insurance or they're too poor. Secretary Clinton reacted, saying Sanders isn't tough enough on guns. No, not at all. I think that we have to look at the fact that we lose 90 people a day from gun violence. This has gone on too long, and it's time the entire country stood up against the NRA. Finally, Anderson Cooper broached the topic that has caused the former secretary to plummet in the polls, her controversial State Department emails. Well, I've taken responsibility for it. I did say it was a mistake. Uh, what I did was allowed by the State Department, but it wasn't the best choice. She preferred to discuss what Americans want out of their next president, and her closest opponent agreed. But I think the secretary is right. And that is that the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you know? Former Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee boasted a scandal-free record. Former Governor Martin O'Malley says Barack Obama has done a good job, but he's a president, not a magician, and climate change needs to be addressed. Former Virginia Senator Jim Webb pointed to his military career as making him the most qualified to be commander-in-chief. One person who watched the debate tonight, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. The front-runner tweeted during the debate. He tweeted, O'Malley as former mayor of Baltimore has very little chance. And when referring to the former governor of Rhode Island, he said, can anyone imagine Chafee as president? No way. And when referring to frontrunner Hillary Clinton, he tweets, the hardest thing Clinton has to do is defend her bad decision-making, including Iraq vote, emails, etc.